Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon with Distress Bacon. We just released a brand new game where Dennis Hababis really saved our bacon. He is terrible at design, and yet this man has somehow found it in him to give us a decent game, an 8.75, almost a full 9. Um, I really want to fire this guy because his stats are so bad. Look at this. He's a level 7, so we're... And by the way, your pay as an employee in this game is based on your level. So he's been here so long that his level is 7, even though his stats are terrible. So we're paying him a lot every week, despite his stats being bad. I really want to fire him, but I said I wouldn't, so I won't. So we're just going to suffer this guy. This guy's terrible. Uh, let's get him some more training, though. We need some more fucking training. This guy's just so fucking awful. More training. You, however, can do some research. Uh, cooperative play? Sure. And then we are going to do some contract work. There you go. Horoscope generator. Why not? Well, we made 12 million in sales on the first week. Not bad. I think that means we can turn the R&D lab back on. Adventure games are popular now. R&D lab, go. A million in sales? It's the rank 7 game in the world. Not half bad. A little more contract work, please. Yep, people are happy about the sequel. Better engine than the last game. A little more, please. Alrighty. And Dennis, are you done? You know what, Dennis? You are never done, Dennis. In fact, I'm going to make you keep doing this until your eyes bleed. Hmm. Let's give him straight up design. And uh, everyone else, we're going to make a new engine with full motion video, interactive story, multi-platform optimized, skill trees, cooperative play, simple body language, dynamic environment, no loading screens, realistic weather. All right, need a name for a new engine here. We don't have... 3 dv 6 researched yet. Once it's done, we'll make a new engine again. But for now, we need a new engine. We have 50 million in the bank. Let's make an engine. Dennis strikes back. Out of the oven. 360 no, 360 no scope. Ah, I like that. Hennis Dababis. Perfect. All right, Hennis, this is going to be your legacy, even if we do choose to fire him, which we won't. Uh, he'll live on forever as this engine. Oh my god, 1,260 points. Well, get to it. It's nice having all this uh, cash flow right now. It's been alien to us. We haven't had this much cash flow in forever. How much is this game? That's a good question. If anyone knows, please, please tell. Ring Ring says it's nine bucks. Everyone's getting stressed out. That's perfect. We're going to get them all on vacation, and then we'll come back and make a new game with a new engine. Product placement. No. I'm going to up the funding on Codename... I mean, on the research lab for now. Simply because... Uh, wow, Time Man 3 has sold 5 million copies. That is pretty crazy. Alright, uh, Hennis Dababis is ready to rock. You guys are all going to go on vacation. And you're going to generate the game report. Oh, phew. All right, let's do a tiny bit of contract work here. Something... Movies, there you go. Good luck, boys. You're going to use a little more training, uh, Dennis. Uh, I 
think we're going to have to come up here and do the more expensive ones because he's so close to 500 points. So go ahead. 75 million from Time Man 3. Wow. Thank you, Dennis. Can you believe Dennis just made us 75 million? I can't. That's pretty amazing. All right, boss, it is done and it is live. Grid is the name of our very own internet-based distribution platform. This system should boost the market share of the PC considerably. Grid will generate income every month, which should boost our ability to create new games and develop new projects. I agree. Uh, do we want to go for 3D V6, hardware, MMO, AA? I think we're gonna go for 3D V6 before anything else, uh, simply because I want to get a 3D V6 engine. And I'm gonna bump this down to just a million a month. There we go, close enough. Alright, the game report is in, and I think they are... No, they need another contract. Alright, no more contract work. There you go. They're just busy while Dennis is doing his training. Dennis! Actually, do a little research while we're here. Chris, you can do research. Online play. Colton, you are terrible. Why don't you do some training, Colton? God, he sucks. I hate you so much, Colton. Manuel, you could use some training as well. Mick, you can do research. Body language, moral choices, voiceover, surround sound. Let's get that surround sound. And do you need any... Yeah, he could use a little bit as well. So give him... Give him some more tech. And you... Oh, Dennis is ready to rock. Oh, Dennis. How about some... Design. Wow, clicking on things is a little difficult sometimes. Uh, you can do some game of gems, that's fine. Everyone's already had their vacation, so it's time for... Oh, why no boost? That's a good question. Why no boost? Can we do a boost? Boost, boost, boost. Yes, we can. 20 RP and a million bucks. Okay, let's get boost going. Good idea. Uh, sure. Large boost. Why not? That kind of means that we're going to have a game going, so we should get a game going. Stop scratching your head, Mustard. Alright, what, what kind of game should we do? We just did an RPG, right? Adventure games are popular right now. Let's see if we can do an, an adventure game. Quickie for Chris. Action, simulation, RPG, strategy. Did, when did we do an adventure game? Oh, school adventure, Spitball Heroes. All right, Spitball Heroes. On what systems are good for adventure? That's a good question. Uh, the PS3, the Mbox 360, and the PC. Great. So we will primarily release it on the PC, and then we'll secondarily release it on the 360 and the PS3, with of course the Dennis, the Hennis Dabavis engine. Uh, large game for young audience, I think. No, young audience is terrible on the PC. School, school, school. School. Uh, it works for the everybody crowd. All right, everybody it is. All right, need a name for Spitball Heroes 2. Bit Cannon Accelerator. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Now, do we need good graphics for an adventure game? Let's see. Adventure... Sort of. Uh, we'll make it work. Oh, look at that. As soon as we start making an adventure game, literally the next day... Adventure is no longer popular. Fuck. <laughs> Just our luck, right?
Well, we're gonna get some free hype here. Oh, we're the number ninth booth. Number nine booth. Nice. Medium and max. Okay. Now, how much shit can we fit in here? Full motion video, interactive story. We can almost fit everything. Hmm. And I kind of think we should. Can we get this down just a bit? There. Engine is not that important. Multiplayer, save to cloud, mod support doesn't fit. That's probably fine. Gameplay. Well, we're not going to fit everything, so cut the progression. No, cut the tutorials. Yeah, fuck tutorials. Fuck them right in the bum. Excellent. So who's going to do the work here? Well, we do need dialogues to be very, very good. So Chris is going to be saved for the dialogue phase. Hmm. And AI is not important. So the only thing that's useful here is design. So Mick, unfortunately, is not very good here. Even Dennis is better than Mick here because Dennis has a higher design than, than Mick. But Mick can go ahead and do the engine. Colton is doing the story in Coax. Is that good? Colton, are you any good at design? Colton is okay at design. It's actually not bad. I mean, 420 is okay. I think we can live with that. If we do that, though, maybe we should have Mick doing this. Yeah, we'll do that. And then Mick can also do the AI in the next phase. That works. Do I play Dwarf Fortress? I have, I have never played Dwarf Fortress. The graphics really don't work for me. Know what I mean? You kind of have to have a really good imagination to get the graphics to, to uh, I don't know. I need, <laughs> I need more visual interaction than what Dwarf Fortress offers. It doesn't work for me. Max, medium, almost minimum. Okay, simple body language, good, good. Ah, oh, we can't fit the dynamic environments. Maybe if we get rid of the mini games? Yeah, there we go. Nice. And can we get the AI boost? No. So it's an adventure game. I think we'll go over for companions for the adventure game. All right, Mick is at 100%, that's perfect. Chris and Joe, that is exactly who we want doing these. And that should be fine. We might even want Dennis to do this. What's the last phase look like? Last phase is... Max, medium, max, almost max, medium, which means it's very heavily design focused. But we do have Manuel and Jeremy available, and then Joe can do a little bit. I think we're fine. We'll just leave Dennis out of it. Dennis, go home. Dennis, go home. I'm not going to hype the game because we had G3 already. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing, burrito? Oh, right, Chris, this is your specialist. You better use your boost. It makes all of his bubbles a little better. All right, last phase is exactly like that. So, Jeremy, get in there and do the world design. Yeah, that's the next thing we need is specialists. Uh, stereo sound does not fit. Okay. And the realistic weather does not fit. What if we get rid of, like, day and night cycle? Not quite. All right, just get rid of that. Oh, get rid of the virtual economy. Oh, there we go. Hmm. And get rid of the day-night cycle. Okay. Looks good. And yeah, Dennis is just not going to do anything because because Dennis is just not good at anything. Full stop. There we go. Works for me. Nobody's overworked, and the project looks good. How was jury duty? It was absolutely fantastic. I brought a book and I spent most of the time texting with people. Media inquiry. Hi, this is Curtin Gillen from Gamers. Got word to do a new game. Yep. Hype the game. Yeah, fucking hype the shit out of this thing. 
I'm feeling confident. Aha, is this a new topic? Nope, sabotage. I don't like to sabotage. I like the new topics, though. But yeah, jury duty, most of the time, I mean... You talk to people, and then you don't do anything. You sit in a room, and you wait for your turn to do something, but my turn never came up, so I just sat there and waited all day. I didn't actually have to be a juror at all. I just had to wait. Which is fine. They have a vending machine. <laughs> Alright, we set new records for design and tech. Good, good. Uh, but this is not the right ratio. Apparently for adventure games, the right ratio is a little more than 2 to 1 design over tech. So this number should be a little higher than twice that number. And it's not. That means it won't be a great score. So that's something... I, I'm going to have to get better at this game as far as trying to meet the target uh, numbers for design and tech points for each release. Because the fact that we're so far off of, oh yeah, scores, let me call for scores, sorry. Scores. The fact that we're so far off from two to one means that our, our score is, we're not gonna get tens. We might get a 10 or something, but we're not gonna get all tens. We're certainly not gonna get the 11. There is an elusive 11 that you can get. I've never had one. Probably because I'm not too good at getting these numbers right. All right, uh, let's do a little more. Let's see, training, what can we do here? Well, you're level nine, which means, you, level nine means they're getting paid the maximum amount. You can never go above level nine, at least I don't think you can. He doesn't even qualify for boost because he's a fucking retard. So get some more training in, get some more training in. Uh, design training, please. Just train everything. Train everything. Oh, here's the reviews. Wow, I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, man. Oh, man. All games? All games, you sack of shit! <laughs> I, I, I'm beginning to understand why we're getting this nine. We keep getting this 9 because our numbers are not good. The ratio is wrong. The design to tech ratio is wrong. That's why we're not getting the 10s. And that's also why we're not getting the 11s. Alright, so let's see. Let's see who guessed 9.75. Wow. The Smorganator. It was the second person to guess a score. The second person to guess got it exactly right. Nice job, the Smorganator. Someone give that man 10 Shen points. You have earned those points, my friend. But now we're going to get a ton of cash. Okay, a little more training, please. Let's see, 700. He's pretty good. We can actually make him a tech specialist, which means we could open a hardware lab. But I don't think we need a tech specialist yet. Uh, I think I'll get him a boost. And Joe, why don't you do some more uh, tech training? And Chris can do some research. Hmm, body language, moral choices. Let's get voiceover in there. Wow, we sold uh, $11.8 million from the first week. Wow. All right, we're gonna up this funding again. <laughs> Distress Bacon has recently released a sequel to their game Spitball Heroes. The newest game in the series, Spit Cannon Accelerator, was met with outstanding responses. Critics praised that Spit Cannon Accelerator had a newer engine than the original. Of course it did. C passed a million in sales? Oh my god. And the hype was... the hype paid off. Means we're gonna make even more sales. Nice. All right, so everyone needs to go on vacation now. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Do a little more contract work until people are ready for vacation. Dennis, you need a little more training because you're still an idiot. Dennis really sucks. He's just a fucking retard. 
Uh, and yeah, I'm going to start specializing Dennis in technology. We're going to have three design guys and three tech guys. And that's that. Uh, Colton, are you ready for some more training? You are. All right, Colton, just go for regular old crap. Actually, go for design. Yeah. And... Why don't you get the game report? Yep. One more contract. Maybe two more contracts until we go on vacation. We have $100 million in the bank. Holy shit. Can you believe just like 40 minutes ago we were broke? We were absolutely broke 40 minutes ago. We were negative $2 million. We've sold 5 million copies of that game. Jesus. It's amazing. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. All right, 3DV6 is out. And next up, let's see. Hardware, MMOs, or AAA games. We should probably get some MMOs out there. Those are really good. Uh, they cost a hell of a lot to develop. But hardware is the same thing. Hardware might even be better. Let me ask in chat. What should we do first? Which should we do first? MMOs or hardware? MMOs. Everyone's saying MMOs. All right, let's do it. I trust you guys. I'm not sure if that's smart of me, but I do trust you guys. Okay, time for some breaks. Vacation, 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 training. Everyone goes out to play except the CEO. CEO has to stay home. Uh, we're going to keep training him for design only. Actually, maybe we should go for speed. Nah. Large booth, please. Do a little more contract work. And then we'll get a game going. Get this out before G3, please. 88 million in sales. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do it. Sequel time. All right, so we did an adventure game. Let's see what we did. Adventure, and then before that we did RPG. Before that we did simulation. And then action. So we need to, we need to do another action game. We haven't done an action game in a while. Let's find a nice action game that we can do. Hmm. Hunting, yeah, maybe. What else is back there? Hockey Knockout. That one was terrible. Hmm. Bom, 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 bom. Martial Arts Action did not do too well. Oh man, we're really going back in time. Underwear Outside the Pants. <laughs> we need to sequel our superhero game. <laughs> wow. Superhero is good for mature audiences. All right, let's make a mature game because the PS3 is okay for mature games, but the 360 and the PC are excellent for mature games. So let's do it. Underwear Outside the Pants 2. Uh, we're gonna call it uh, Pants on Head Retarded. Large game for mature audiences. Superhero action game on the PC. And then we'll also do it on the Mbox 360 and the PS3. The Hennis Dababis engine. Let's do it. Yep, great combo. Now, do we need super good graphics for an action game? Of course we do. Graphics are really important here. And so is tech. Tech is way more important than design here. Uh, Alright. And look at that. We, we started the game just before G3. So we're going to get the full height bonus of G3. That was ridiculously lucky that we got it out just before G3. I mean, that we, got, got, we started making it just before G3. So now we have uh, 1.15 million visitors. The number one booth! Woohoo! We are the number one booth. All right, maximum, almost max. 
and almost minimum. And again, these are just the in-game hints here. Uh, we're not going to be able to fit all the story and quests, so take out the expensive ones. Cutscenes. Okay, I can handle that. There you go. How much of the engine can we fit? We don't need save game because we have save to cloud. We can almost fit everything. What if we take out save to cloud and just do the save game? That's pretty close. I think we can make that work just by lowering this a slight tiny bit. 99. Not sure it's worth I'm not sure it's worth moving the slider down that far. Maybe. Okay, how much gameplay can we fit? Skill trees do not fit. Damn it. What about if we put in skill trees and we take out achievements? Close. Hmm. What if we take out... No, we need that. Hmm. So is it more important to get... Uh, is it more important to get the better user experience than it is to get a save game? You don't need a save game, do you? Yeah, you don't need a save game. 900. There we go. Who needs a save game? Save games are overrated. <laughs> All right, so who's going to do the work here? Well, uh, Mick definitely can't do both of these. So this is 20, 80, 80. Do we need good AI? Yes, we do. AI better be top notch. So our two uh, tech guys are Joe and Mick. We'll have Mick on phase one. We'll give him his boost. Joe doesn't have boost, but that's okay. So who's going to do the level design on phase two, which is a 4060? I guess Dennis. Yeah, Dennis can do level design. Sure. All right, who's going to do the gameplay then? Gameplay is all design. Well, maybe Colton. And that'll be, yeah. We'll have Colton do the first phase, and then he that, that'll be all he does this entire game. Okay. Good luck, Colton. Have your boost, Nick. Oh man, we already have a hundred hype. We're not even through phase one. Fucking G3, man. 150 hype from phase one. Wow. 175 hype from one phase. That is a lot of hype. All right, minimum, almost max, max. Okay, take this shit out. Nothing fits. Dialogue tree doesn't fit. But we can sneak it in like this. I think it's better just to not do that. We'll just do that. Leave it at minimum. Chris, you might as well do your specialty. Uh, Joe is going to do our AI, and Dennis is going to do the level design. There you go. Look at Dennis. He's all proud. We can fit the AI bonus. We can't fit the no loading screen? Really? What about if we take out Easter eggs and the level editor? Nope. Hmm. I kind of wish we could fit all these in, but it looks like it's just not going to work. That's what she said. Okay, take that out. Can we fit all this shit? Uh, close. But no banana. Hmm. Well, if we... How about if we raise this all the way up? Close, but it doesn't quite fit. Then I think it's better to take this out and raise it down until it just barely fits. There you go. That way we'll get more focus on the AI, which we did fill out with as much shit as possible. But then it might make... Well... Shit. I really wish we could fit that level editor in there. I mean, 99%. Pretty good, man. Nah, I'll take it out. Okay. So, Chris, Dennis, and Joe looks good. And we have... Uh, I think Chris can, Chris can help with the last phase as well. That should work just fine. You need AAA games for no loading screens? True. But once you get to AAA games, this will cost twice as much. This will cost 630k on the AAA game. It's very expensive. Which means it's harder to fit in the game as well. But you're right, it will fit in the game on AAA. All right, Chris, this is your phase. Go ahead and boost. No, we don't have AAA researched yet. 
You know what, though? We are out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We have 300 hype already on our new game, Pants on Head Retarded. I'll see you guys next time where we'll finish this game and uh, start on our first MMO, probably. All right. I'll see you then. Have a good day.